Welcome to our podcast, where we explore stories that inspire, educate, and provoke thought. Today's story is about a father and son's encounter with the unknown and the horrifying consequences that follow. So, can you tell us more about the beginning of the story and how the father responds to his son's nightmare? Yes, the story starts with the father being woken up by his son Matthew, who was having a nightmare and couldn't sleep. The father tries to reassure him that it was just a nightmare, but Matthew insists that he can't sleep, as the nightmares will start again. That sounds like a difficult situation for both the father and the son. What happens next? The father falls asleep and has a nightmare of his own, where he witnesses his son being flayed alive by figures without skin or eyes. He wakes up to find that his son is missing and eventually finds him in the basement, but his clothes are stained with blood. That's really chilling. What does the son say when the father finds him? One night, as Mio was using the app, she heard a voice whispering to her. It was soft and soothing at first, but as Mio listened more closely, she realized that it was telling her to hurt herself. Mio tried to stop using the app, but she couldn't. It had taken over her life, just like her anxiety had. The voice became louder and more insistent until Mio felt like she had no choice but to listen. That's a really scary situation. What happened when Charlotte found out about what was going on? Charlotte came over to check on Mio, and she found her friend lying on the floor, barely conscious, with cuts all over her arms. Mio had been so consumed by the app and the voice in her head that she had resorted to self-harm to try and make it stop. That's a really heartbreaking ending to the story. Do you have any final thoughts or takeaways from this experience? One day, while Mio was home alone, Charlotte sent her a link to an app that was supposed to help with anxiety. Mio was hesitant at first, but she eventually decided to give it a try.